Hello, brothers and sisters of the light. I am Julie Joy of the Young Light Workers with another marvelous message from Anne and the Angels. It's channeled by my dear friend Anne Albers for February 17th, 2024. And the title of this message is Disengaging from the Darkness. And they begin, my dear friends, we love you so very much. You are in a constant dance with the energies of life around you. You are all empathetic beings capable of feeling anything you tune into. You can feel the feelings of others. You can feel the resonance of life around you. You intuitively understand what frequencies are compatible with you in a given moment and which are not. If you are happy and having a beautiful day, you might still run into an angry person, but if they don't match any frequencies with you, they won't disturb you. They're not compatible with your loving vibration and can't drag you down. You'll have compassion. Look at them curiously or simply decide to avoid them. But if you have some upset lurking within you, they might trip your trigger. But having practiced tuning your energy, you can quickly find your way back to joy. If, however, you are already in a space of upset, such a person would resonate with you, amplify your own anger, and upset you even more. Likewise, if you're sad, you might not want to be around someone emanating joy unless you are reaching for that frequency. If you are feeling empowered, you might not resonate with someone in a victimized mood. And if you are feeling victimized, you might not want to hear someone preach about how you can be more empowered unless you are reaching for that frequency already. As your saying goes, wherever you go, there you are. This ability to feel life around you is one of the many reasons it makes sense to love and accept yourself even when you're down. You will attract and resonate with those who have similar compassion. It makes sense to reach for the best vibration you can find so you'll be able to feel your higher guidance and resonate with others in these higher spaces who can amplify your own good feelings and receive higher guidance. As you choose to love yourself and find reasons to feel better, you will find that you no longer have any desire to engage in the dances of density and darkness. There are those upon your earth who live in such fear that they demand your agreement, often in loving ways. There are those who take out their anger on the innocent. There are those who learn in early childhood to get their way by being endearing, seductive, demanding, or manipulative and still keep engaging in these behaviors into adulthood. There are those whose pain is so great they cannot find a way out except to take it out on others. These are not horrible souls. All souls are made of one light. However, these are souls who are lost, at least for a time, in the denser energies. Don't drive them further into the darkness with your hate, dear friends. Remove your attention from their bad behaviors and pray for them with the hope that one day your prayers will help lift them into greater light. We are not asking you to like unlikable behaviors. We are not asking you to feel good about bad words. We are not asking you to fall in love in the human sense with those who hate and hurt. We are simply saying this. You do not have to fall into density because others around you want you to join in their pain. You can remain in your light, your joy, and your loving vibration, no matter what others choose. We know this isn't easy, but it is the path to your deepest freedom. You may have to live with them, work with them, or get on the bus with them, but you do not have to engage in the energies they emit, for they are calling for attention in unloving ways. You do not have to give them your attention. You get to choose where you place your focus. You get to choose what vibrations you empower. You get to choose if you will get sucked into the argument, become defensive when attacked, or feel a need to justify your goodness to those who can't see it, even if your light was blinding in the moment. Dear ones, we love you. Most of you have not been taught to exist in a space of soul-level love. You have been trained to make nice, defend your honor, demand respect, or despise those who are unloving to you. None of this is necessary. Life can be so much easier. You can live without letting the negativity and drama into your emotional space. 
You can choose and choose again not to dance with the darkness, no matter who offers it to you or how vehemently they offer it. Not everyone is in a space to understand your love and your good heart. Not everyone is in a space to communicate kindly. Not everyone is able to learn a dialogue in their present moment rather than demanding agreement. Not everyone is in a space to behave in a decent way on your planet, and yet that does not mean you need to engage. When those lost in darkness cry for love and attention in unloving ways, give only their truth your attention. Give only good behavior your attention. Give their light within all things your attention, but withdraw your focus from hurtful words and behaviors. If someone betrays you, don't betray yourself. Give yourself love and kindness. Seek soothing and healing, and then move on. Don't give them further power over you with your attention to their unloving behavior. You don't need to defend your right to be treated with honesty. Of course you deserve honesty. Not everyone is in a space to offer it. Withdraw from those who can't or at least ignore their lies. If someone speaks to you in anger, either speak back in kindness or don't say a word. Don't respond. Let them sit in your silent presence with their own unpleasant vibration and then walk away when you can or change the topic. Their anger isn't about you. Their anger is about their disconnection from their own loving spirit. If someone attacks your character, embrace your true character. No one can damage your reputation to those who think for themselves. Others can only make you look bad to those who also look for what is negative. These aren't the people you want to impress anyway. Let your dignity, love, and good character speak more loudly than any word you could possibly offer. Let those who must think ill of you take responsibility for their own unpleasant feelings while you choose to feel good about yourself. Speak the truth of your own character only to those who can hear it. And this is in quotes from the Bible. Don't cast your pearls before swine. Simply means that it is useless to offer your pearls of wisdom and truth to those who cannot recognize them for what they are. It is time for you, dear light workers, to disengage from the denser energies that have tried, often successfully, to bring you down for lifetimes. It is a time to stop dignifying the denser behaviors with your attention. A parent who peacefully sends a misbehaving child to their room with a loving but firm attitude is far more effective in teaching the child than one who hits, hurts, screams, and punishes. Likewise, when you send adults who are unkind to their room symbolically by remaining firm, loving, and refusing to dance with the bad behaviors, you are far more likely to have an impact than if you get knocked out of your own loving space. When we in the heavens look at those you would call the most loathsome of all human beings, we see their souls. We remember their light. We pay attention to and amplify through our love anything good or kind they do, no matter how small. We do not dignify their density with our attention. When they wage war, either literally or figuratively, we gently whisper to their soul, Remember, you are light. You are love. You want love. You want to feel safe. You want to feel right inside of yourself. There are kinder ways to go about this. Remember, if we were there to offer them only hatred and reproach, it would drive them deeper into their darkness. Our desire is to help all souls find their way home to the love that you are. The paradigm of punishing those in darkness has never rid them of their darkness. The paradigm of defending your honor instead of just standing in such an honorable space that those who have the eyes to see it will see it has never convinced those that it can't. The paradigm of assisting that those who don't respect themselves enough to be loving should respect you has never worked. An eye for an eye has never helped either party see clearly how to find and feel love once again. Instead, you can stand so firmly and powerfully in a space of knowing your own goodness, light, and beauty that the unkind behaviors and actions of others will not find a way under your skin, so to speak. 
When you know who you are, you don't require the validation of others. When you know how you should be treated, you walk away from those who don't. When you respect yourself, you don't need to lower yourself to dance with those who can't. When you live and abide in the truth that you are precious, unique, and created by your Creator, the opinions of those who are disconnected can no longer sway you. You can withdraw either literally or energetically from the tugs and pulls of those who want to engage you with the lower dances. You can remain silent, pray, send love, or simply focus on anything and everything that feels better. Alignment with love is alignment with the power that breathes life into all creation. Whether you focus on the simplest thing with love, your coffee, your spouse, your dog, the light filtering in through a window, a beautiful thought, you exist in that moment in alignment with the Creator. Stay there as often as you can, for in this space the power that creates worlds will guide you with impulses of joy, grace, and ease. Don't fight the darkness, dear ones. Don't engage with it energetically. No matter whose mouth or behavior it comes through. As often as possible, focus on that which you can love. For love is the only true power in the universe. When you empower love, the darkness cannot exist in those spaces. We know your loving hearts. We know your light. Heaven knows who you are. Rest assured that if you rest in this love as often as possible, then those lost in darkness will have no power over you, and you will become powerful beacons of light for those who are reaching for a higher and happier reality. God bless you. We love you so very much. My goodness, the angels were quite chatty for this powerful message this morning. This message was channeled by my dear friend, Ann Albers. Her website is visionsofheaven.com. Stop by there and see everything that she has to offer. Visionsofheaven.com. I am Julie Joy, your servant to the light, and it always brings me so much pleasure to bring you these messages from Ann and the Angels. Mm -hmm.